Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Forgotten Friends Friday. Oh my gosh, I have some forgotten friends to share today. <laughs> so let's say hi and hugs to Patty, Julie, Darcy, and Brooke. Thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments. And <laughs> we're going to just get started here. Oh my gosh. So I think I told you in a recent video, of course, I'm filming ahead as I always do. And I think I told you that um, my word for 2023 was finish. And so one of the things I knew I needed to finish was this little traveler's notebook. And so I went to look for that and then I found other stuff. <laughs> So um, this is just the little folio that I have my um, ephemera in for the Life's Vignette um, collection from Blue Fern Studio. So we're going to get, th theoretically, we'll get back to this if we have time. But I this piece was in there. I need to add it to the journal. But I decided I wanted to make a couple one for a project I'm doing over on Patreon, but also one um, for my idea book, because I don't think I have this in my idea book. So that's what we're going to do. But let me show you what else I found. <laughs> oh, and I know why I found these. I found these because I was saving them in case I went to Creativation. Well, I'm not going to Creativation in 2023, so I just need to pass these along to a good home is what I need to do. So anyway, this one is just a little pocket folio. This one is with the Compositions collection, and it's got like a little pocket in there with a journal card in there. And then just all the little journal cards stuck in, and I decorated it up and stuff. So anyway, there's that. And then there's this, which is another is another little traveler's notebook that I made sometime last year. And um yeah. So those two things I found. Also, I found these two things. Uh, the Seaside Cottage collection. So this little booklet is, um, oh, it's out of a sack. There's journal cards in there. This little pocket, couple of pockets there. And then up top, there are journal cards that go in the top pocket, which now I'm having trouble grabbing, but there it is. Um, yeah, and then little pocket here, and that's, there's that cute little folio thingamajig. So then, also, <laughs> in addition, completely forgot I made this. So this one's, again, with the Seaside Cottage Collection, little, um, fun, um, spine, and then it's all decorated up. And then it's an ephemera holder. I'm actually making one of these over on Patreon. So, so hilarious. I completely forgot that I did this one. So anyway, um, I was just going to tell you that I'm going to put these four things on my Etsy. Because, you know, they're not doing anyone any good sitting in my uh, project box. So, okay, so let's make this and see what we can do. I have these old envelopes from work. I can't, I can't exactly remember how I did it, but I think we'll be able to figure it out. And I'm going to use Tim Holtz paper because I'm going to put it in my, um, in my little, uh, idea book as well as the um, the project I'm making over on Patreon. I thought, thought I'd add it to that one too. Okay, let's get going. So I'm going to make two. 
But what I want to do is close this first. So, you guys, I'm filming this on December 21st. We woke up this morning to a foot and a half of new snow, 20 below zero, 40 below wind chill. But it's not as bad as it's going to get, <laughs> which is tomorrow when it's actually 40 below zero. Oh, well, 38, but you know, who's counting? Okay, so number 10 envelopes, and I just sealed them closed. Now I'm going to, uh, I'm going to fold this up. So this ends up being about six inches, okay? So let's just use my board here. Let's see, I better get up here because I think my camera shifted on me. So we're going to go about six inches there, close enough. Okay, and same with this one. Okay, so then we need to snip off just the a very tiny bit of the, the top. Next step, little, little bit of sliver off here so that now that is open, right? Okay, we'll do this one. Okay, and then we also need to do this end. So do it too. Just a, just ever such a sliver and it'll open up. So, okay, did that. Okay, so I think we might be done with that for the time being. Okay. So now we've got it folded up. We've got opened up this, opened up this. That's where we're at so far. And then, okay, okay. I think I see how we're going to do it. Okay, I'm going to put my, nope, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till I have it covered. Okay, now we're going to use some paper and cover things. So let's see, what do I have? Just grab, oh, just grab whatever's on top, kind of. Maybe this one. Use this one for one. And then I'll use this one for another one. Okay. Alrighty then. I don't know if we'll need more bits, but I think one one piece should do it, shouldn't it? Okay, so the envelope itself, let's just do let's just do one at a time. The envelope itself is just over four inches. I was hoping to get most of the bird. So what I'm going to do is just use the envelope to measure and I'm just going to make a little something there. Okay. And we're going to cut this. The width of the envelope. Okay. That's what we have to play with over there. Okay. Now, this flappy piece goes down into your pocket. So what I'm gonna do is, remember this was six this way. So what I'm gonna do is do maybe seven. I think an inch should be enough. Yeah, so I'm gonna cut it at seven. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my scoreboard and score it at an inch here. 
Hopefully I won't chop off the bird's head, but maybe a little bit. Oh, gosh. A feather or two at most. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to fold that. Might as well get the bone folder out, right? Okay. And, um, and then this is going to go down into this pocket like that except it's a little wide okay gotta take off a skosh that's okay just just a barely bit okay that's a barely bit in case you were wondering yeah, so perfect day to be in my craft room because it is freezing out there. Okay. So. Is that enough? Yes. Okay, so that's going to be our little flap over. Okay, I like that. Okay, so we're going to just, I'm thinking I might want to distress it first. Before I put it in, I could have done it after too, no biggie, but might as well do it when it's loose and easy to, easy to grab. Okay, and I'll do this inside too because it's going to flap up. Flaps up. So my son-in-law is flying in today and then driving from Bozeman. Makes me so nervous. But I guess the, they're doing a good job on the roads. The roads are improving, so he should be fine. And he's now he's coming with a friend, which makes me happy. I didn't like the idea of him being all by himself out on the road in this weather. He's not as hardy as he used to be when he was a Montana boy. Now he lives in Colorado. <laughs> yeah, you got to be pretty hardy in Colorado too. Okay. And I left just a tiny bit before the fold just so it'll fold easily. Okay, so we got the flap on. Now I'm looking at this. You know, if you wanted, you could put a little pocket there too, if you wanted to. Okay, so now we need to cover this bit and we need to cover our pocket. Let's put the lid back on the art glitter glue and see what we've got. So we've got this which easily goes there, right? Maybe that's what I did on that one. I was just use that other bit. Okay, and then um, I need to I need to cut another one the same width. So we can do that. Next time I make the other one, I'll know to cut two at the same time. Okay, I'm going to put that there. Let's grab the big cutter. And give that a bit of a cut. Oops. It's moving on me. Can't have that. Okay. And I'm kind of feeling like I'd like to maybe just do the other side again. Um, like that. Then we then it could be decorated and stuff, but maybe this will be the one. I don't know which one I will use for which. Okay, I'm just going to give that a little bit of a line. We're going to cut it. Oops. Okay. Let go. 
Let it go. Let it go. Okay. Nice. Now. Sorry, guys. My stuff that I have. <sighs> my scoreboard. My cutters. They're causing me grief for a minute there. Okay, so that's going to go there, and that's going to go there. Liking it. I'm going to go ahead and give them a little bit of a distress before I glue them on. Okay, and this one we're going to have to, once we cut the thumb hole will have to give it another bit of a distress right there at the thumb hole, but that's okay. Okay. So now we'll put this on there. And it just glues straight down like there's no pocket at the top or anything. So we're just going to glue this all the way around and pop it down there. My poor husband, he's he's upstairs napping. He didn't sleep well last night anticipating the storm. And then right away he was out there digging and snow blowing and all of that business. So he's having a nap upstairs. That's good. It's not particularly straight, so that's showing. So I'm just going to give it a little distress ink there and then this one I'm going to leave a little spot for the thumb hole okay then that goes on there okay okay I think I need to Okay, now we're going to do the thumb hole, and then we'll glue that other pocket. Let's see. Let's use, let's use this. Okay. Give that a little distress. And I'm going to distress back here on the envelope, too. Okay, now to glue this down, a little bit tricky. So we're going to glue this side and this side because we want to make a side pocket here. Oh, look, my fingernails are chipping. Time for a new, time for a new manicure. I just do them myself, but can't be bothered to go somewhere. Oh, about once a week. I got to do them about once a week. I'm tough on them. Doing what we do. Okay. So then our only thing left is to make this little tag that is going to slide in. Oh, shoot. I forgot to cut that into a thumb hole. Oh, well. I won't do it on this one. I'll do it on the next one. It doesn't matter. It just kind of indicates that there's a pocket there. So it's not a big deal, but might have been nice to have one. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Okay. So this tag is about two and a half inches. Two and a half inches by four inches. Okay. Two and a half by four. I'm trying to think which one would be. I think I'll use this one. So let's cut it. Ooh. Reach down to the floor. It's good exercise. So let's cut it at four. And let's cut it at two and a half. And then 
I'm going to go ahead and back it with some coffee dyed paper. Let's see, what do I have for coffee dyed paper here? Mm, will this work? That'll work. It's kind of a, it's a tea dyed digital is what it is basically, but that's okay. That'll work. So I'm just going to cover this and then we'll cut it into its tag shape. And then we'll do its little tabby. And that one will be good. Excuse my reach. Okay. Alrighty then. Tag here. Oh yeah, that's nice. I'll just keep this for the next one too. Keep it out, you know. I honestly don't remember where I saw this. This was not my idea. Um, but I apologize. It's a forgotten friend. I have no idea where I saw it. I can say if I've just watched something, but in this case, I have no idea. Okay, and then what we want to do is punch out a little circle. Ooh, that's the other reason. Well, I think we'll be okay. I was thinking the other reason for the thumb hole is so that the little circular topper can fit. But, um, so, like so. So, let's grab this. I wonder if I can maybe get it out of this. I think so. Okay, um, and then I did bring over my, I've been doing a little rearranging in my room. I think I'm going to do, a, when I get it all done, I'm going to do another updated video because um, I, I think it might be helpful for people to see what I did. Okay. So here's our little tab. And I think we're going to want the tab. I think I'm going to put this right under the 41. So I have a little pokey tool that is helpful for such things. Maybe I'll put it on there and poke them both. Kind of wiggle it around a bit so I make some room. Put our little brad in there. Okay, there we go. And that is going to just slide in this little side pocket here. No, that works fine without a works fine without a notch. Although I kind of like the notch too. Either way, either way. So there we go. There's one. There's one. So I'll decide later which of these is going to be the one to live in my idea book. Okay, then let's do this one. Um, okay. Should we put the gentleman on the front? Let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to do this a slight bit smaller, this one, because remember we had to cut off a little bit. So there's that one, and then here's the next one. Okay, we're getting efficient on this now that we're on the second one. So I am going to try and do quite a few 
ephemera ideas videos. It seems like you guys are excited about that. But in between, I'm going to be finishing projects and I'm going to um, just be, you know, just be doing my thing. But, but like I say, I'd like to do some, oh, I still need that. Yep, ding dong. Okay, and then six inches, right? Oh, so I wanna go seven because we have to fold it over. Yes. Remember what you're doing, Gail. It's helpful to remember what you're doing. Okay. So there's that. Oh, I gotta do the, excuse me, while I shuffle all my equipment here. I wanna score it at an inch. Scored. It's, it's weird. There's a line on the on the design right there, and I was like, "Hmm, did I score that twice? What did I do?" <laughs> nope. Okay. Oh, jeez. It's a bit of a disaster. So we haven't heard from my daughter and her family who are on their little family trip. I hope they're having fun. Usually they send us pictures, so they must be very busy having fun because no pictures have we seen yet, but I'll get them when I go for Christmas. <laughs> okay, so let's pop that. In. Okay. Let's hope it's going to fit. I should have checked. Oh, it's really tight. But I think it's going to work. Maybe. It would have been nice to have checked that gale before you put glue on it. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, well, I'm going for it anyway. I have no choice. Let's um, grab. I'll just grab a little paper towel and get rid of the glue right there. I thought I adjusted, but I didn't apparently, oops, didn't apparently do quite enough. Mm, I don't know that that's enough either. Probably getting glue on my cutter. Yes, I am. Oh, my lanta. Got it. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> oh, yo, yo. And our glitter glue dries so fast. I'm thinking this one will be the one that goes in my idea journal. I don't know. There it is, there it is. Okay. Nope. Trying to leave a little, there we go. Okay, see now it's too short. Well, that's annoying. Yep, this is gonna be the one in my idea journal. Okay, so I'm gonna put this, I want it this way. that there and then oh look we'll put this cute thing on the bottom okay 
Oh, right on this line. How convenient. Okay, which line was it? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, there it is. Okay. Thank goodness pencil lead is shiny or I'd have been in trouble there. My goodness. I do shake my head at myself. I really do. I don't want that to dry out. It's my good bottle. one probably wouldn't have had to distress it since I'm this is my prototype but that's all right well these are once you know what you're doing these are pretty quick to make that and this guy I'm gonna once again I'm gonna kind of leave a spot for the thumb hole and on this side okay Okay, there's that. And then thumb holes. And a thumb hole over here. Let's see, I want to be Yeah, because I, I wanted to have the thumb hole to be where this was covering, not down here, if that makes sense. Okay, now we can, let's, no, let's, since I did, I mean, you never know, someday I want, might want to put these in a journal, you know? Who knows? I mean, with all my um, ideas in my idea cupboard, book slash bin slash cupboard, I could probably do 50 journals <laughs> with all that ephemera. Okay, cool. Now, so I don't know. Maybe this was a Cory Dahman idea. I'm not sure. Okay, so. So the number is not going to be able to. We're not going to be able to do that. So um, I think I'll just do the leaf as the tag. Okay, so four. And two and a half, right? I think that's right. And then that leaves us this little guy for a closure. Okay, let's put it on here. Yep. Yay! I'm excited to have this for the idea book. And one for the project that I'm doing. That's exciting. Beautiful. 
use the tool at hand instead of the one that's for the job. <laughs> that's my philosophy. Okay. Keep that little piece for something. Yeah, I just, uh, I wanted to make these before I put this in my, um, in my journal because I wanted to have something for the idea book. So if I go to my idea book and I already have this somewhere, then I have two for other projects, right? Yeah, it's, oh my gosh, it is. The wind is blowing too. I think it might be blowing in the even colder weather. I think that's what's happening. So Mike took, Al, you know, we're having to take Alfie out the front and or for a walk for him out to take care of his little self. And um, Mike took him for a walk late this morning um, and poor little guy, he had his back paw was, Mike said he lifted it up. And so, so Mike, um, he stopped and he pulled any snow clods out from between his pads and then chucked it for home real quick. It's not good time for animals to be outside I mean at least if he could go out back he could go out and he, he barks at the back door when he's ready to come in but yeah we don't have that option right now what with a half done deck and all okay so I think I'll put that like that this guy right about there that in and voila we've got another one fun okay there's that one and it's not a big deal that this isn't totally covering that because now it's the same paper it looks fine when it was the white it didn't look so good okay so now we've got two. Yay! And we've got some fun Tim Holtz scraps. That's always a plus. Alrighty then. So we are, gosh, we've got about 20 minutes. So let's take a look where we want to put this in the in the journal. And just kind of see where we're at with this journal. Let's see can get rid of my Tim Holtz papers. All right, let's just see here. It's been a while since we've looked at this. So, okay, well, we've got stuff in there. Super cute. Got one of these pockets. I like that, just up the middle. It's got some fun ephemera in it. We did a bunch of stamping back when we made these with the stamps that go with the Life's Vignettes. I double-checked um, Blue Moon Scrapbooking, and they have some Life's Vignettes left. So I'll link them below. They also had some from the um, Seaside Cottage and Composition ones that I showed you earlier. Okay, that's fun. Just a little. Okay, so I feel like the front, what do we have? We have one, two, three things in front. How many things in back do we have? We have one that needs something. So we know that. Um, this has a little stamped um, Rolodex card in there, which is kind of fun. Okay, One, two, need something in there. Three, the other pocket, and it's just clipped on. 
Is this one? Yeah, because you can write in there. Those are fun. You know, normally I don't get to look back on other journals that I've made because they go to their new home. So it's been kind of fun to look at these. <laughs> okay, so where was I? There was two, right? Yeah. No, three, four. Okay, so maybe we'll put this in the front then somewhere. Let's see a good spot. Okay, we've got something there and something there. So like maybe, maybe here. And I think I'll glue it on as a pocket up here because we could put one more thing. I was looking to see if there was a little bit wider paper, but they seem to be all about the same. This one's a bit smaller, but... I like the idea of having it just on the plane and not. I'm gonna close okay. You know what I think I'm gonna do? Is I think I'm going to put a strip of the paper down here and move it out just a little bit. With all the lace and stuff, I think it'll be fine to have that stick out a little bit. And then it won't be so much into the um, spine of the journal. Okay, let's see what we have, if we have any scraps in this. I don't know what to do with that. Okay. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we've got some scraps here. Oh, these are the... These are from the ephemera, and I thought about making them into journal cards. Okay, there's another project. But, yes, I do have, I do, I do, I do. I really almost think that one of the branding strips might be enough just to give us a little more room. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use that one. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, I've even put the charms in the middle little flower and a little butterfly so yeah I mean this is nearly done and it's been sitting it's so crazy Gail you know and I honestly don't know what happened but I probably just got on to something else I figured I needed to do you know so I'm going to try my best to honor my word and just get some stuff finished up. The bonus of that is it's not sitting somewhere in my room either. You know, I can get this like this. I can get it off to its new home. Okay, so there's that. And then see, I'm thinking I can move that over and yet it'll still look pretty on this side. You see what I'm saying? Are you picking up what I'm putting down here? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right to the edge of this. 
and then down and around. And then we just have to find stuff to go in the journal. Okay, so I am going to kind of that right about like that. Yeah, and that's going to be okay, I think, don't you? And then this flips up. We need something in there too, and then we need something there. So I think we have some some stuff we need to, to do. Now I'm thinking for journal cards, these are too big for this book. Yeah, that's probably why I stuck them aside. Okay, so let's see what we have in our little ephemera book to let me get some stuff out of my way. Sorry guys. It drives me crazy if it's too messy. Okie dokie. Let's see where we're at. Let me keep the book weight in case we need it. Okay, that has something in it. That's good. And this was full. I think all the front stuff was full, except for now, this guy, because we put it in. So we need something to go in there. Let's see if we have something in the ephemera. Again, these are going to be too wide. Let me move up a little bit. It's going to be too wide. I could use one of the cute little, little girls. Looks weird. So no. <laughs> Not gonna work. My little girls. What's this? Nope. I mean, this could stick out of there and something else. So let's keep that out. Um, made a bunch of clusters too that I, oh my gosh, I like that. That's fun. Yes. Okay. I'll put this guy back in there, but there's some good tickets and skinnier stuff there. But that's kind of fun in there, don't you think? Just a little cluster, and then whoever gets the book can do with that what they'd like. Okay. That one we're good. Oh, yeah, those. Are those at the back? Yes, those are there, so. We might be able to utilize another one of those if there's more here. Let's check this out. You guys, I really do love that little ephemera folder. I need to make another one of those, I think. Okay, there's this blue one. Let's just see what else is in here. Some really skinny tags. And then some frame sort of things. Okay, I think I'm going to use that. So I need to, need to do a little fussy cut in here. Just making sure that was just one thickness. Okay, I'll set those aside and do something with those later. Just wanted to take the big big cuts with the big scissors because then you don't if you use a big scissor blade then you don't have the little chop chop chops but like up here I'm going to need a smaller so that's why I end up with uh, three different Tim Holtz size uh, sizes of scissors because there's jobs for each you know My 
things are getting cold. I might have to turn on my space heater here for the next for the next video I do. Got a got a good idea for um for Scrappy Saturday too. It's actually been kind of fun and I I haven't even gone to my project cart which is full of projects that are not done. Okay. So, there we go with that. That's cute. Okay. Need something to tuck in there. Oh, look at this cute tag I made. Put a charm at the top. That's cute. Will that go in there? Kind of does. Okay. Well, that's going in there. And this cute little thing. Oh, I was wondering about that, too. I think I should put something on that, whether it be... You know, I could use... I could use this lace because it's really bumpy. But you can flip this out, so that wouldn't impede. This this piece is called Trims and Treasures. So yeah, I think I'll use, use that right kind of down the middle here. Yeah, that's neat, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to... I think I'm gonna cut in between, yeah, in between two pearls so that I have that little bit to put on the top of a pocket or something. Okay, so I'm gonna use Fabri Tac for this, and we'll just little little grits from it. How we doing? We're good. Okay, I think I'll get this done. It isn't even 2023 yet, and I am getting stuff done. Finished. Finished. Oh, funny story. So my friend Lorette and I were, were chatting yesterday, and she had said something about, yeah, I've decided that my word for... 2023 is completion. <laughs> I said, oh my gosh. And of course, the video that where I talk about my word of the day has not aired yet. I'm like, guess what mine is finished? <laughs> We're really on the same page here. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was hilarious. Okay. Well, I need to take some pictures of this so I can send it to Blue Fern as another design team project. <laughs> and then I'll list it on my Etsy. Because she's done. Oh, I love that little belly band. That is so fun. Yeah. Love this life's, life's vignettes. Bit. Okay, so then I, I think I want lace to, to close it. So maybe I'll search for some of that. I don't know that I have any in the in this life's vignettes thing. Oh, maybe. Oh, look at this. Yes, this is what's going to close it. Well, I better sign it, right? That's what we need to do. Where did my pen go? Oh, there it is. I was using it while I reorganized a little bit because um, I, I needed to mark some things with which Etsy shop. I 
I can even put 2022 because it still is. Two thousand twenty-two. Yes! You know, if you have a little word, it helps you focus. <laughs> That's what I have to say about that. So I think all those other projects I have already submitted to Blue Fern Studios, but now I can take pictures of this and send it along as well. They haven't put my Christmas one on the blog yet, but I'll just load them up and see what they do with it. Whatever, I have fulfilled my responsibility. So thanks so much for helping me get that done. And we got our little our little pieces. Now I have, I'll check my, um, my idea one, and then I can put one of these. In. So good. Life is good. Thank you so much, everybody, for crafting with me today. I hope you have a grateful day, and we will just see you in the next video. Bye!